Lesnar, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Brock Lesnar is a scary individual. He became the UFC heavyweight champion in only his fourth pro fight. His strength makes him dangerous on his feet, and he's got world-class takedown skills and nasty ground and pound. Brock Lesnar, fired up and ready to go. making his way to the world-famous octagon. Kevin Randleman is an extremely gifted athlete. He's very strong, very fast, and a former NCAA champion wrestler. He can truly dominate a fight with his takedowns and his ground and pound. Kevin Randleman, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet three inches tall. Weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar. And now, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Kevin the Monster Randleman. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohal. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. I'm in a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Touch gloves, let's come out fighting. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Okay, guys. Brock Lesnar, Kevin Randleman. Round one is underway. Joe, many don't credit Brock Lesnar for his collegiate wrestling achievements. He was 106-5 in his collegiate wrestling career, won a national championship at the University of Minnesota. When Brock first left amateur wrestling, the UFC wasn't in the position it is today. So the real money for him was in fake wrestling. But he is a real fighter. Make no mistake about it. The man is a competitor. Huge suplex. Wow, that right hand. And really raining down some haymakers. Moves into full mount here. Half guard. Mount again. He's got the back here. Got both hooks in. There he goes. Back to mount again. He's got the hooks in again. Rolls back over to Mount again. Big right hand. Two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved it and Mount again. Oh! Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Nice right hand. Just over a minute remains. Boom. Half 
left guard. Looking to force his opponent up against the cage, Joe. 30 seconds remains in the round. Fast hand. Left hook, he's down! Round one is complete. A great display of grappling skills in that round. Absolutely, Mike. I love a good jiu-jitsu match, and these two are putting on a show. Push the pace. Push the pace on him. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that armbar. You can catch him all day long, okay? He gets that back, you fight that two-on-one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. You swim that arm over. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And here was that nasty counter strike, just so perfectly timed. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Hey, we're flying the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Okay, fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Again, the takedown is stuffed. He's got his back here. Oh, beautiful takedown. He ate that one. He's got half guard. Full guard here. Side control again into half guard. Full mount here. He tried to escape, controlling the top position. Good job, hip escaping there, moves to half guard. And back to mount again. Able to posture up from full mount. Don't you down anything. Take it away. We just did that. Oh! He's got both hooks in, Mike. Gonna try to flatten him out, finish this fight. Back to mount. Full mount. Under three minutes now. Oh my goodness! He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. Joe, this place is going wild. Top position is doing a great job of holding that mount. Oh, 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 he got hurt bad, Mike. Oh, he recovers. Mount again. It looks like Randleman is bleeding. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. There he goes. Back Joe to mount, mount again. Now able to posture. Oh, he's out! It is all over! Knockout victory! How good was that? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion. Let's see that again, Mike. As soon as the opening's there, boom, he drops the hammer and turns the lights out. Joe, you can see on the replay that he was out, the fight was over, and still he threw down some punches. A couple of more punches than are needed. Here we see it again, close up. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 45 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, and now, the new UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Rock Lesnar, your new UFC heavyweight champion.